There is nothing in this world that cannot be explained with logic and reason. Nothing in this world. Every fiber of the earth, every molecule reverberates in anticipation of the awakening. The abyss calls for me, Mr. Holmes, as it does for you. That's the canning thing that I saw the, uh, the canning factory that I saw the ad for. Giddy Gator. Look at that. This place has a Spartan charm, does it not? It does. My soul will always yearn for London's gloom, but it reminds me of Cordona in a nice way. Giddy Gator Bar. He's gonna be around here somewhere. Or is it or is it a door? Move. No. Oh, here it is. Like get a gator. Well then. Barnaby, unconscious but with his eyes open. Look, Watson, the two of you are just alike. Oh, great! So I look like a haggard alcoholic. Mr. Barnaby, the banking house of E. W. Gray invites you to participate in a closed auction. We are pleased to present a selection of rare and extraordinary black opals for sale. Please contact our employee to receive more information. We strongly urge that you wear the cleanest suit you have and be sober. One more un unacceptable incident and we will exclude you from our list of buyers. Eureka! What have you got? An idea. First, we'll need Mr. Barnaby's clothes. Holmes. Watson, time is of the essence. You will go to the bank, not as yourself, but as Frank Barnaby. Holmes, we look nothing alike. The hat and coat will do the heavy lifting. Just stay cool, play the part, and no one will notice the difference. Trust me. Holmes, must we really indulge in this farce? Yes. It worked in Switzerland, didn't it? Sure. You great if you redefine the, the has my opia, you'll walk right through. So from the Creole Quarter, I must get back to the bank. We'll find it fairly easily, I assume. And that tree's seen better days, eh? He's like, hello, I am Mr. Monopoly. I'm here to pick up me gems. And I'm like, you're supposed to be American. Oh, yes, right. Where's the money, Barnaby? Oh my god. <laughs> Please don't beat me. I'll wait here so as not to arouse suspicion. Mr. Barnaby. R right you are. Shop owner. Right. Your invitation, sir? Here you go. You okay, sir? Seem to have the jumps. I, uh, I'm, uh, I, I'm in a rush. Uh, come on in. Let us go. No. Heavens, I never seen gems so big. I simply must have them. No, yes. No, observe. So black, it's like they absorb light. Rather hypnotic. Black opal, Australian. 40 carats, rarest stone. Believed to be a piece of a shattered space rock that fell to Earth. Quite large examples of the gem in question. Sorry, I'm just dealing with another client's request. Please wait a moment. You wait a moment.
This might be useful. I'll make a note. Mm -hmm. Who is A? We have Armitage, Arnson, and Atkinson. No R's. Morning, sir, and welcome to the E.W. Gray Banking House. The auction will begin shortly. Name's Zoe Clemens, and I'd be delighted to help you. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Clemens. I am Doc... Uh, Frank Barnaby. I do have some questions, if you don't mind. Forgive my curiosity, but who was the previous owner? Sir, I ain't at liberty to disclose them details. These gems are rather curious. What can you tell me about them? These rare beauties are black opals, all the way from Cooper Petty, South Australia. When they catch the light, the dark stone becomes a brilliant rainbow. It's something special. It doesn't say where these stones came from. No provenance, no previous owner. I'm starting to suspect they were illegally procured. What? We would never. I can assure you these gems were bought from one of New Orleans' most upstanding citizens, a philanthropist no less. If you would like to know more, I could get my manager. You old dog, Barnaby. <laughs> oh my god, you Jeff Bridges. So for the auction. An hour ago, you were three sheets to the wind. Oh, well, uh, you know, I hold my liquor better than most. And the auction was an important business opportunity. An important business opportunity. Ha. Ah. What have you done with the real Barnaby? Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Oh, is that, yeah, nothing. I haven't done anything. Mister, like, no. Mister, what's wrong, Frank? You're looking pale. Don't you recognize your old pal, Grub? Observe, Grub. Big American hat. <laughs> he is the sheriff. He has a purple heart from being hurt in the war. Golden Revolver Champion, proud or poser? Hmm. What else can we say about this gentleman here? Hmm? He's got his hand on his gun. Fashionable or oh, hates getting dirty. Eh. Sorry, Sheriff, but I don't have time for this. Now, Frank, when I'm talking to you, everything else waits. If I want to talk, you talk. If I say jump, you say off which pier. Do we understand each other? Y yes, sir. Good. Now, while I have you. There's the matter of your outstanding fines. I've been more than reasonable, but I'm afraid the bills come due. Fines? Right. Uh, I I'm afraid I don't have anything on me. That's funny. Ain't you at the auction? I weren't born yesterday, Frank. Now, assault, battery, disorderly conduct, that's serious stuff. You got off easy, but if you don't pay up, things get a whole lot worse. Look, Sheriff, I'm not actually... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Think careful now, because Frank Barnaby only owes us cash. But fraud, impersonation, that's weasel behavior. And you yeah, know why would you tell him? Weasels around these parts. Feed them to the gators. So, Frank, what's it gonna be? Here's all I have. Mighty fine of you. The he just gave him forty-seven thousand dollars. <laughs> He's like, I don't know about money. Uh, here. Don't miss that boat tomorrow morning, doctor. How do you know? I think I got my character portrait wrong. I think that I think that's the first one I've gotten wrong the entire game.
Mr. Barnaby, were you wanting to submit a bid? The auction will close in 30 minutes. I believe we now have offers on every gem. What do you want me to do here, game? Should I steal this handbag and this money? I know that. I know that part. Why are you, why are you telling me again? I know. I mean, I did hit the button, but Jabus. I'm still hoping one of these folks is buying an opal for me. The winning bidders will be notified by tomorrow. Thank you for visiting. Okay, I'm assuming that I'm just gonna leave now. Don't want to be rude, but even the man upstairs can smell you. I told you, Holmes. I told you it was a bad plan. Now we're penniless and wanted criminals. Hysteria gets us nowhere, Watson. Tell me what happened. The sheriff saw right through me. He knew who I was from the start. Extorted me for every coin I had. Bah, all that matters is what you learned about the gems. I shan't discuss it while still wearing that blighter's clothes. I'm going back to the boat to get changed. You know, I think the look actually compliments you. Why bother changing it? Hmm. Back to the boat. So we need to find out who A is, and we have three options. Sheriff, I'm sure it was simply bluster and bloviation. But he took my money, man. Just tell me what you've learned. Okay, fine. Change your clothes. We'll talk afterwards. And I thought I was the vain one. I can't change my clothes right now. What the hell? This is my boat. Oh. No, no. Was that your luggage again? I don't understand. We just got it back in order. Fucking. Did you just dump my shit in the lake? You... Oh. It was like the luggage had legs of its own. Oh, Mr. Pratchett will have my head. Ah, oh, you piece. How am I going to fish him out? Anyone got a net? I know how this looks. Twice in one day. What are the chances? Okay, fine. Change your clothes. We'll talk afterwards. Oh, bollocks. Now our clothes are in the blooming water. It was like the luggage had legs of its own. Oh, Mr. Pratchett will have my head. I ain't sure what you did to the sheriff, but it must have been something real hairy to have him chuck your luggage off the pier. With respect, miss, have we met before? If you were the real Frank Barnaby, yeah, we would have. But where are my manners? I'm Lucy. And you are? <laughs> Hello, John. Lucy. I didn't mean to be rude. I've just had a difficult day, miss. Well, it's barely noon. And you've already made an enemy in Sheriff Grubb. The man starves his gators just in case someone crosses him. John who? Watson. Well, Johnny, if you plan on sticking around, you better change that suit, or Frank's reputation will catch up with you. And then you'll be a John Doe. Alas, I think one of those gators is currently devouring my spare clothes. <laughs> you've got yourself in a fine pickle. <laughs> All right, come on board the Nymph of Louisiana, and I'll sort you something to wear. The Nymph? Is that what it sounds like? Why are you helping me? Well, let's just say you ain't the only one who's had run-ins with the Sheriff. Way I see it, this city deserves better. Now quit your stalling and head on over to the Nymph. I'll be in room six. This Mr. Barterby is proving... No, Lord. Useful. Perhaps you're not so different after all. One more word, Holmes, and I'll hand you over to the Sheriff. Sorry, was that John talking or Frank? Ugh. Go annoy someone else while I visit the nymph. No, oh Lord. No, I need room six. Six. Well, look at you. All dressed up with nowhere to go. I can't thank you enough. As I was saying, 
Our journey has hardly gone to plan. We seem no closer to finding our missing people than when we left. Hmm. Well, if there were anything to know, Champagne will know it. She's across everything in New Orleans. Look for her in the Fisherman's Village behind the Creole Quarter. Thank you again, Lucy. I shall make my way there now. Good luck, Johnny. Keep out of trouble. Alrighty. Well, thank you. I knew the clothes would fit, but I didn't know how well they'd suit. Oh, forgive me, Watson. The difference is plain as day. What a remarkable transformation from Barnaby. If we're critiquing wardrobes, Holmes, maybe you can explain why you used to roll just one sleeve up. Did you get bored halfway through? Yay! Let me change. Da! Why to change my clothes? Why? Why are you like this? So then, Creole Quarter, which is behind the meat pie, uh, the the fish cannery. This way, and then the fishing village is somewhere near. Ooh, you can buy guns here. I want to buy guns. Big O guns, though. Buy them all. And he's still passed out. I'm going to say that this is the fishing village. Because look how shitty all the houses is. I'm going to try the big bow house first. Tocqueville? Lafayette! Hush now! No offense here. Them two don't take kindly to gents. Especially foreigners. How can champagne help you? Trip to the bayou? Feeding a huge crocodile? <laughs> Some other time, perhaps. Word has it, you know everything that goes on around these parts. Maybe. Maybe not. What you want to know? The bank in town recently purchased a valuable collection of gemstones from a wealthy man. What do you know of it? Sure. I hear everything. This time I tell you for free. Next time, you pay. Okay. Thank you. May have been one, two weeks ago. Rich man's butler sold him some black opals. And this rich man is? Don't know his name, only that he from the French Quarter. Folk back in town could take you there. That's all I know. You need a boat? I hire him out for dollars. Or a bottle of, you know what? Thank you for the offer and the help. Okay. So then now to the French court, eh? We're solving mysteries. But we don't have a big van to travel around the town in. In this Chinatown which means if my thought is correct you turn right and you hit the wall so that's not where the French Quarter is French Quarter must be further down there
Hmm. All right. If I were a French Quarter, where would I where would I hide? Hmm. I can look at this. Wanted dead or alive, the doctor, Harold Gaslan. Gasla, for breaking into jail to socialize with cohorts and colleagues. Reward ten dollars and a fine hat. Look, Watson. What have we here? A local crime star. A star? You have a strange way with words. Frankly, we have more pressing matters. No. I'm not going after these troublemakers, but the posters will add nicely to my collection of criminal profiles. I read a study that suggests facial features can determine a person's tendency towards cruelty or deviant behavior. Well, you can't stop progress. More people missing here, too. Our ship leaves tomorrow morning. No room for sightseeing then. Alright, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find... Getting 10 of them will be quite enough to improve. Okay, so I need 10. Opal Trader. Are you able to help me? I don't wish to be rude, but I don't have a clue about this. What about you? Hmm. We're gonna go over to the fancy part of town and see if that's where we go, because the French Quarter of New Orleans is, uh, especially around this time, and that's the fancy place. That's where all the fancy people live. So we're gonna go talk to the fancy people about the fancy people shit. Hello, fancy people. Why are you so far away, fancy person? Come back here. Excuse me, just one question. I don't want to disappoint you, but I'm clueless. Ow! Dang it. There it is. It's most likely Mr. E. Mr. A. E. Arnson from the French Quarter. Okay. Well, then let's pin that and ask oh, the lady. Help I'll help you, sir. You have my full attention. Passerby suggests using a cab near the harbor. Okay. A spot in mind. French quarter and get us there fast. See, fancy people town. I'm not used to this warmth and humidity. Hopefully, our Arneson has a shady garden. You know, Watson, the opulent mansions and stifling heat remind me of my time in the Mediterranean. In Sherlock Holmes, chapter one. The magical. Do you think you shall ever return? I, I don't know. That place was home to some of my greatest memories and some of my lowest moments. Hello, random person. Got a spot in mind. Oh, no. Actually, I'm not sure yet. 
this familiar to you? I'm Moan Tide, but yeah, I help you. Large gate adorned with bisons. Hmm. Are you able to help me? I'm so sorry. I can't be of help. I love the NPC talk. It's like, that's not even approximation, my sir. My good sir, there's no way in how never that you These could possibly think of that. Oh, that was like his carriage you house. Yes, lady. Excuse me, miss. Are you all right? What is your name? Eula, sir. Waiting for someone, Eula? Y uh, yes, sir. My brother Davy. He works for Mr. Arneson in that mansion yonder. <laughs> Been five days now since I last heard from him. That's now, not good. Why all the tears? Something happened to Davy. <gasps> I feel it in my bones. You're right, hon. You I'm sorry. The premises. No, sir. Davy, he ain't like you and me. He's smart in some ways, but he can't talk. Not a word. He's he's pure. He ain't kind. Fear not. We will look for your brother. One presumes this gate is locked. Is there any other way inside? There's another entrance through the stables you could try. That's where I meet Davy normally, but I, I couldn't get in. See, I couldn't find the key. It wasn't in its usual spot. Please hurry, sir. Find him for me. Mm -hmm. Chapter 5 The Horror at the Door Arneson's Mansion And I think we'll leave Arneson's Mansion for next time, gentlemen. But we shall return to finish the mystery.